Hi, this is a quick video to walk you through how to get to EBSCO and then how to find an article that is a PDF full text article, um, primarily to help you with the MLA practice assignment, but this will also show you the steps of how to find any information that you might need for a research paper in any class. So what we're going to do is we're here at SSE's homepage. We're going to go to the library page. And then we're going to scroll down here where it says EBSCO. Now you'll notice there is no information about login credentials for EBSCO right here. Those are in the uh, MLA assignment that I've given you. Uh, please note that a very small percentage of students um, use the right credentials, but um, EBSCO still uh, denies them access. We don't know why. So um, if that's a problem, you just email me and I will give you some options. So we're gonna choose EBSCO host web. And then we're just gonna choose for our purposes for this uh, exercise, the academic search premiere. You're gonna see that we actually subscribe to a variety of databases that you can use for research in other classes uh, and as well as in your English classes when required. All right, so if you open up this page and you're just on basic search, go ahead and click to advanced search because we need to set some parameters so that we get um, the right kind of articles, right? So we're not um, doing any particular research. You can choose any kind of topic to, to try to find something. So I'm going to type in dolphins because I like dolphins. So let's do dolphins and intelligence. Now before we hit search, we're going to come down here. We need to click full text because you don't want to come get back something that's, you know, incomplete, right? You only get part of it. You can click article here to also help weed out uh, other things that would not be useful, right? Um, periodical um, is what they use to refer to magazines and journals. Um, we're just going to leave that at all at this point. You can also go ahead and make sure everything is in English. And then we have to make sure that it's PDF, because if you remember the assignment, it says it must be a PDF full text, right? So we're gonna hit search. And there we've got uh, a variety of articles that we can choose from. Now, if I don't want an academic journal, I just want a magazine. And for the EBSCO, it doesn't matter if it's, a, actually if it's a magazine, a newspaper, or a journal. It has to be an article of some kind but uh, you need to understand which kind it is so you know the proper MLA formatting. So by clicking magazine, I know that all of these are magazines. If I unclick that, then I'm going to see that I have other options that I can, you know, academic journals. Um, oh, it's not giving me anything from a newspaper because there was nothing, I guess, about dolphin intelligence and the newspapers they carry. So after I get this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to pick the PDF full text. And here is my article and I'm going to see it exactly as the way it appeared in the actual magazine. So here's the page number. Uh, it's only one page, so it's a very short article. Um, I'm going to see the title. It's not very clear here, the information, like what the magazine is. Usually you can find all of that. So, but if I go over here, it says Earthwatch Institute Journal. Note that just because somebody says journal does not mean that it actually is an academic journal. <laughs> if I click detailed record, then it's actually going to give me a lot more clear uh, information about what to use here. Um, if I click over here on site and I can scroll down to MLA, I actually have the works cited entry uh, that I can copy and paste. Now, the problem with um, this EBSCO citation is that they give you more information than what you need. If this is a magazine, then I don't need volume and number. I just need day, month, and year. And some magazines are only published once a month, so they just have month and year. So here I would ignore volume and number. Right, so you have to, you know, look at this and take, you know, what you need and delete, you know, what you don't. You have to also double check that it's properly, you know, formatted with other things, right? But this is a real quick way to make sure that, um, you know, you got the right information. 
Now this, that article didn't have any authors. So I would, you know, I don't have any authors to cite. Here's one that does have an author and it is two pages long. So you can see how much more clear this is. You can see that the title of the journal, the date range, the page number, it actually says two pages, but that's because the second page here is this little copyright information. The article itself is just one page. And again, if I go over here to cite and I scroll down to MLA, you can see, right? But again, I don't want the volume and the number. I wanna delete that because this is a magazine. Remember, I only, um, I filtered out everything except for magazines. So um, you can also download by, if, you, if this isn't showing you, just move your cursor up here, you can download the article so that you actually have a copy of it. You'd have to retitle it because it always says content server for some reason. Uh, you'd have to, you can retitle so that you have it, you can print it out if that makes it easier. When you're using a quote, you actually can highlight and copy and paste so that you're not having to retype if you want to do that. So uh, that's it. That's our quick video about how to use EBSCO. Uh, email me if you have questions or you're having a problem.